Hey. Today, in case you haven't seen it, the president was in Ohio. He was in Ohio talking about infrastructure. Check your calendars. It is always Infrastructure Week. And <laughs> talking about construction brought back some happy Trump memories. That's what I do is I build. I was always very good at building. It was always my best thing. I think better than being president. Oh. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short, sir. <laughs> you suck at both. <laughs> and... <laughs> infrastructure. And Trump reminisced about his favorite part of building. I love the smell of a construction site, right? There's just something about it. I love it. It's the smell of loans from my daddy and looming bankruptcy. <laughs> ah, I could huff it. I could uh, I, I don't say. <laughs> but again, this was an infrastructure rally, so naturally, he talked about Roseanne. Even look at Roseanne. I called her yesterday. Look at her ratings. Look at her ratings. I got a call from Mark Burnett. He did The Apprentice. He's a great guy. He said, Donald, I called just to say hello and to tell you. Did you see Roseanne's ratings? I said, Mark, how big were they? They were unbelievable. Over 18 million people. And it was about us. What? <laughs> Wait, I... I haven't seen it yet, but Roseanne is about the Trumps? Uh, yeah. Well, I can't wait for the episode where John Goodman blows the vacation money paying off a porn star. Oh. Is, that, is that episode two? Oh. Three. Episode three. three. Episode three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Episode two, he has sex with her. Episode three, he pays her off. Okay. <laughs> now, the reason why Trump crowed about the ratings is that on the show, Roseanne, the character, agrees with Donald Trump. And a lot of people have called that refreshing. Well, I would like 18 million people to watch my show. So let me serve up some refreshment right now. And I mean this sincerely. I agree with Donald Trump about something. CNN lies. Okay? <laughs> Hear me out. Last night, we had my old friend Dana Carvey on the show, and he did a fantastic impression of the new national security advisor, John Bolton. Check it out. You know what they say, sanctions, spanctions, mandy patanctions. <laughs> I'm gonna send some big fat tanks in. Babbity boom, slabbity boom. <laughs> A very subtle, nuanced portrayal. <laughs> well, this morning, CNN had an article about it, which was nice, but the headline was Look who's playing John Bolton on SNL. <laughs> Fake. News. I take everything back. I apologize. Donald Trump is a great president. Come on. Come on, CNN. This isn't SNL. Unless you think SNL stands for Stevens Nightly Laughs. And here, let me help you. Let me help you. It might be difficult. Here's how you can tell that clip wasn't on Saturday Night Live. It was a Wednesday? We tape during the daytime, and we're not live. <laughs> you got three things wrong in three letters. <laughs> Still, it's nice just to be recognized, so uh, thank you, MSNBC. <laughs> Trump, meanwhile, back in Ohio, <laughs> back in Ohio, Trump, uh, at the same rally, he bragged about the changes he's made in the Veterans Affairs Administration. I had passed the VA Accountability, the Accountable, the Accountability Act, and now when they're bad to our vets or when they're not working for our vets, we say, hey, Jim, you're fired. Get out of here, Jim. Get out. Get out. That was a big deal. Yes. It was a big deal to fire Jim. <laughs> if his name was Jim, it's not. It's David, David Shulkin. You fired him yesterday. <laughs> how long, how long does it take you to forget someone's name? I tell you, she only left this morning, but I already miss my old communications director, Harpy Hoops. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, Shulkin's being replaced by a presidential doctor and a guy who eats white strips for breakfast, <laughs> Dr. Ronnie Jackson. Now, one of the reasons uh, that Shulkin lost his job is that he abused his travel privileges and was accused of lying about it. But at least no one's ever accused Dr. Jackson of lying. Uh, with President Trump's consent, I released the following health information. Height, 75 inches. Weight, 239 pounds. I stand corrected. <laughs> now, well, I'm sure he's a good doctor. No reason to believe he's not. He was Obama's doctor, too, right? Uh, the VA is the second largest agency in our government, serving 22 million veterans. And Jackson is just some guy he met wearing a paper robe. Evidently, Trump just hires people he sees around him. We are one delivery away from having Defense Secretary Domino's guy. 